YouTube is the future of SEO and specifically Parasite SEO. Now we've said this for a while, even Ricky Kessler at Income School at a conference I went to a couple of years ago, he was talking about the future is video because it's more difficult to fake. Now I've been very aware of the fact that with monitoring uh, Parasite SEO in particular, when you're looking at these high ticket products like supplements, gold IRAs, gambling sites, traditionally we've had a lot of new sites at the top from Parasite SEO, whether that's Outlook India, Deccan Herald, all of those. But for a long time, we've also had YouTube videos ranking. Now with the latest Google update, we're rapidly coming up to the 5th of May uh, deadline, supposedly, where Google has said it is fixing Parasite SEO, sites that are ranking pages from third parties purely through the sheer strength of their domain power to promote affiliate products are going to be penalized. And in my previous video, I explored how basically a lot of it's already gone through. Most of the major parasites have dropped a lot. Now, I don't think Parasite is going to end by any means. It simply makes sense. Google themselves have said that hosting third-party content on a news site, that's how media sites make money. Traditional advertorials have been around for ages. So that's not really going to change. But what we have noticed is a distinct loss of power. It used to be, certainly in the last few months, so even LinkedIn, you could publish a LinkedIn post and within hours it would be in the top three of Google. And it didn't matter what the niche was. So that idea of topical relevance, topical authority, seems to have gone out the window. But slowly, it seems like Google is slowly filtering out a lot of the Parasite stuff. Uh, still seeing a lot of these Microsoft CRM portals coming through as the, the latest trick. But even a year ago, I was seeing these YouTube channels ranking really well. I'm basically trying to work out how they did it because what they're doing is not trying to organically rank on YouTube and get that virality aspect. What they're doing is they're sticking a video really high up on the Google result. So let me just explain to you some of my methodology here. I always like to look at ClickBank. So ClickBank is an affiliate marketplace where basically product owners, normally supplements, can list their products and any affiliate can sign up and start promoting those products. And some of them pay really well. So for that reason, some of the top affiliates, if you really want to know what's really going on in SEO, then you want to go through some of these brands and work out what their affiliates have been doing. So Java Perfect example, that's a supplement for coffee. Uh, you get an average of $150 per sale with that. And there's a recurring element, $50 per month. So forget about Amazon affiliate or selling lawnmowers for a couple of dollars. If you sell just a few of these, then you can build up some really healthy income. But of course, it's really competitive. So for the last six months or so, we've had loads of parasites competing with these products. With a lot of these parasite sites, Google seems to reward the most recent result. So you could pay your $500 to $1,000 to publish a Parasite article, and then a week later it gets knocked off by someone doing the exact same thing. But if we do the same thing now, if we take Java Burn, Pure of Eve, and I've skipped past a couple and gone down to Prodentum, these are all the top offers on ClickBank. We're currently looking at the top offers category, and obviously these are really high paying, and the gravity score is a measure of how rapidly it's uh, selling. So when you go to top offers, what you see is really high gravity score and really high dollars per conversion. So if we look at Purevive, you can see we've got YouTube videos at number one and number two. And it seems to be just a few channels dominating this niche. I hope I'm not exposing anyone here, but I'm just reverse engineering what's publicly available. So Simrix, Carson and Flamengo online. Now you might be thinking this result is only getting, well, zero traffic in Ahrefs. But that's because this video was only published two days ago. And I can see right now, having done a manual search, it's number two on Google. So these rank trackers like Ahrefs take a while to scan all these keywords and update the rankings. Whereas if we look at this one that was published a week ago, we can see that's getting a thousand visitors per month because Ahrefs has performed its scrape. It's identified there are 39 keywords it, this page ranks for. And those 39 keywords are roughly providing around a thousand visitors per month. Now let's move on to Java Ben. And again, it's Flamengo number one, zero traffic, but that's because it's only published 16 hours ago. And then if we come down here, we've got Simrix Carson again, that was only published two days ago. And then we've got JPost, which is more of a traditional Parasite SEO site. And it's just being outranked by all these YouTube videos. I saw an interesting infographic on Facebook this morning, someone shared where basically said search results now, Reddit and Quora at the top, then big media brands, and then YouTube videos. Obviously, it depends on the niche. I wouldn't oversimplify it like that. There's still content sites doing really well. There's still e-com sites doing really well. 
And of course, none of this really affects local businesses, bricks and mortar businesses. But from the affiliate standpoint, how can we actually get these videos to rank like this? I've been working on this for a long time and never actually doing the full deep dive to test it out and try and do it for myself. But for about a year now, trying various things to actually make it work. Because what you've got to remember is ranking YouTube videos on Google is different to ranking YouTube videos on YouTube. You might think that number one on YouTube equals number one on Google. But it doesn't usually happen that way. It's separate ranking algorithms. So YouTube in particular is all about engagement and watch time. Whereas Google seems much more to do with, for instance, embeds, engagement. So there's commonalities, but it's not as simple as let's have a viral video and then we'll get on the video pack on Google. One thing we know works is CTR manipulation. So that basically helps with engagement and watch time. So I did a review of CTR Booster. So if we search CTR Booster and look what we have here, SEO Jesus at number two, and that's ranking for keywords. So it's absolutely working, absolutely ranking. What I'm intrigued by is how these people are industrializing it, doing it at scale repeatedly. So for ProDentum reviews, we can see again, Simmeritz Carson, Flamingo Online. Now, if we go to their channel, we can see what they're doing. So they've always got hired uh, actors and actresses. You can basically go through their history and it looks like really good human videos. These are not just uh, faceless YouTube videos with AI. They're actually hiring people to speak about these products and look like real YouTube videos. I'm sure you could do the same thing with a Synthesia talking avatar type thing, but for now, this is what's working. So I just want to reverse engineer what's actually working. So you'll notice headline is totally stuffed with keywords. ProDentum customer review, ProDentum review, ProDentum reviews, ProDentum dental health. So this is old school black hat keyword stuffing and it's working. Now this has 6,300 views and 338 likes. I don't believe that for a moment. I think that's been manipulated. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that's how you get the video ranking because what we see in all these examples is just rapid turnaround. This was published 16 hours ago and it's it's actually number one on Google the Java Burn review. So in fact, let's look at that one as perhaps a better example. Now you notice their titles are extreme and clickbait. The, the strategy with this is basically, is it a scam or make sure you click this link because there's those of fake websites out there. You need to make sure you buy from the right one. So does Java Burn work? Watch this before you buy all of that. Java Burn reviews, Java Burn coffee, Java Burn review. 3,400 views in 16 hours. Got a load of hashtags here. Then we have official website, which is not. That's their affiliate link. Fair enough. Then we've basically got a long form blog post in the description. So we're targeting all these longer tail keywords and questions. So YouTube is quite generous with how long your description can be. So I'm intrigued. Let's do a surfer audit of this page, actually. And reviews. So that audit's come back. Content score is only 52, but don't forget that's probably going to do with word count. We'll check that in a minute because you do still have a character limit. I think it's 5,000 characters, something like that for YouTube descriptions. So it's got Java burn reviews the right amount of times and uh, arguably too many Java burn and Java burn coffees. Now word count, yeah, word count is too short, 750 words in body and you can't do headings in YouTube and zero exact match keywords in H1. So that's interesting. It looks like you're not actually getting that H1. So actually plenty of ways this is not that optimized, but as with all Parasite SEO, for one thing, YouTube is an extremely powerful domain. So DR of 99 in Ahrefs, which is huge. Also, it's a Google-owned property. So it's always going to have an unfair advantage there. I think generally videos, remember, you do watch them. So therefore your dwell time on the page is going to be quite long. So there's plenty of reasons videos do rank well, just as a page on the internet, as a page on Google. So I get the impression they've sculpted this description quite well. Chapters help a lot. Now notice the chapters are all heavily keyword stuffed as well. So constantly repeating Java burn. Uh, and then they stuff a load of keywords at the bottom. So Java burn, Java burn reviews, just goes on and on. And um, in the tra transcript, we can probably see how many times they use Java burn as well. There are some reports that YouTube and Google does actually look at the transcript for relevance and ranking, but I don't think anyone has actually proven that. And then they're using manipulated comments uh, using the keyword repeatedly. So we've got more of the keyword repeated across the page. Plus from YouTube standpoints, comments are really good engagement signals. 
But rather than just ranking a single video like this, there does seem to be, first of all, a recency bias and kind of its own topical authority. Because if we actually open this channel, they are doing extreme volume, 5,300 videos. And if we go through here, we can see one minute ago, 12 minutes ago, two minutes ago, and that's a new Java burn review. So it looks like whatever keyword they're targeting, they have to do it pretty much daily. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just hire an actress. These videos are not long. They're only about three minutes long each. So you just need a couple of actresses to read a script, maybe do five to 10 recordings of a very similarly worded script, but still unique content. And then you can just mix them up. And they're targeting other languages as well, which is really interesting. I've seen people trying to rank videos like this in Spanish, as an example, obviously one of the world's biggest languages. So probably a lot less competition, but still very high volume. Now, even now, as I'm scrolling through, we're still only up to five hours ago. So all these supplement reviews going out all the time, nine hours ago, if we just keep scrolling, we've got 19 hours, 19 hours. So you can, this is not a small operation. I wouldn't take the assumption that you could just publish one video, follow all the steps, match them exactly, and yet still manage to snipe that number one position. And frankly, I think this is much more a case about the, the operation side, the SOP. So how you hire your actresses, how you actually script it, how you edit it, and basically have someone on the go all the time publishing this content around the clock and then performing all the off page to actually get that going. Now, let's analyze their script a little further. Like I say, it seems that repeating the keyword is good. All the videos are the same length. So there's clearly some sort of process here. So I'm actually going to use a process similar to how I do my videos, my descriptions and so on, where we actually paste in the transcript into ChatGPT. I am analyzing a competitor's videos and I want to know the formula and structure they use for their script that I can repeat. Here is one transcript and let's just go and grab that transcript. A lot of people actually miss this that to get transcripts on YouTube all you have to do is go down the description down to here and then you can just copy all of this. So if you're wondering how I do my YouTube thumbnails there is a video on how I do it on my channel but it all comes down to this. We basically take my transcript, put it into a custom GPT I built, and that basically gives us thumbnail, description. Uh, we even try to take that further into producing social media content now, like LinkedIn posts. So here is one transcript. I do use Descript for my recordings, but Descript doesn't actually give you these timestamps, and therefore you can't get the, the chapters so easily. And as we can see, chapters are important. Well, having said that, this one doesn't have any, but this one does. So I try and get chapters on every video. So this is one script. So that's the script we've borrowed. Let's go and get another one just to try and eliminate variables. Wow, they've even got, right, the chapters I think influence the transcript as well. So you've got almost like headings within the transcript. Now all this is being loaded on the page somehow. So I wouldn't be surprised if Google is crawling this somehow. Yeah, is another transcript to improve it. So here's an enhanced breakdown of structure and formula observed in the transcript. Introduction, purchase information, explanation, closing, and call to action. So these are really simple videos to do. So next thing to do is just test it out. So I'm going to be starting a fresh channel for this, just for supplement reviews, and we'll have a crack at it. Now, of course, one of the important steps is that watch time and engagement. Plus for rankings like this, they do say embeds are really important. So if I find an older video like this one, five days ago, 4,000 visitors per month. We can see there are a load of referring pages and referring domains here. So I suspect those are probably their embeds provide that top ranking. Now these actually look like backlinks rather than embeds. Let's have a look. Yeah, these basically look like niche edit backlinks. So it's actually a two-year-old article. Anchor text is Pure Aviv. So this was published two months ago. So this basically looks like comment spam. Oh, it's a forum, it says. And there's the link there. So it's not actually an embed. That is a backlink direct to a YouTube video. A lot of these are actually on the same site. So let's group this as one link per domain. And yeah, all forums. So you can do this with automated software. And yeah, same thing here. So it's a forum page about is Instigator best weight loss pills. So you're probably doing this with something like Xrumor or Scrapebox. Plenty of tools out there for forum spam. So again, we're looking for Pureviv which is down here. That's actually one comment that seems to have posted quite a lot of links. So that's a YouTube video. That's a YouTube video. I wonder if we can reverse engineer their profile. Now we've got essay writing service. 
Anyway, never mind that, I'm getting distracted. It doesn't really look like Off Page is playing a significant role in this. I've also been comparing notes with Holly Starks, who's just joined my mastermind. She's a very big gun in the industry, especially with these kinds of tactics, known as the queen of video. And we basically agreed this seems to come down to traffic. Yes, the embeds will certainly help. Maybe there's some influence from backlinks, but it doesn't seem to be that important. Whereas consistently what we're seeing is a huge volume of traffic. So we can see this video 17 hours ago, 5,500 views. And then 12 hours ago, 3,900 views. Now this just doesn't make sense for a niche supplement review keyword. These are not cat videos. So this kind of traffic is just unrealistic. So I think they're using a service like Vidoptimer, one of those basically using a network of people to drive traffic to their videos and engagement as well. So Vidoptimer basically has a network of people around the world whose job it is to watch your video on repeat, having searched your keyword, so it provides that engagement directly in relation to searching for a keyword and therefore fulfilling search intent. And they will do all that embedding and ent entity stacking Plus, it looks like these other YouTubers are using some kind of manipulative comments, both for engagement and also to stuff the keyword more on the page. So Vidoptima do have an option for that. I don't really recommend it because the comments are a bit obvious. I know lots of people used to push back on that on my early videos, so that's why I stopped doing all that. But while I was getting my channel off the ground, getting that initial organic traction, that was really valuable. So I've already taken all these learnings and basically taken that script from ChatGPT and produced a very similar three minute long script. In my next video, I'll take you through step by step how I actually did that. But it's basically just a green screen over the Java Burn website. Hey, good day folks, what's up, what's going on? I'm thrilled here today to be looking for effective ways to shed those extra pounds. Let's face it, we've all been there scouring the internet for the quickest weight loss solutions. It's natural for our bodies to fluctuate, especially as we age. So you get the idea. It does look a bit weird. That's because I'm using AI eye contact from Descript which basically means I can just put my script into Descript and just read off the screen, even though my webcam is slightly above. And then you can use the AI to just pivot your eye contact to meet the camera. Now, obviously it's not perfect, but in this case, I just wanted to do this really quickly just to test out these ranking strategies. Can we try and knock off uh, one of these videos and try and get my video into that prime position at the top of Google? So next I need to create a separate review channel and then have to verify myself for that in order to get the link placed in there because it'd be a shame to rank number one and then not be able to do anything with that traffic. Another thing I'm testing out at the moment is paid ads for YouTube. It does seem to do well for traffic, but it completely ruins my average view duration. So this one I tested, I was down to 0.23 minutes. What is that? So 23 seconds per video. Whereas if I look at a video I haven't used paid ads for, my average view duration is much more normal. It's around six minutes. So most of my videos get around five to seven minutes view time. And like I say, that's really key for organic reach. That's why I recommend Vidoptima because they really focus on that watch time. Getting that watch time up is much more qualitative metric of views rather than the purely quantitative sheer volume of views. So I'll be testing both side by side, but that's basically the tactic short three to five minute review video, basically make sure the whole video is about call to action and then just blasting it with disengagement, embeds, everything, all this power that these competitors seem to be doing.